So here we are back at the puppy. Had a nice little break. And with it, so we're using our three colours here. So what I've done is I've put the pink, put the pink on with you, then I put the cream on very gently, and I'll show you the rest of it, which these bits I haven't done. I'll just put it on like this, very, very gently. It's that soft, just over the pink bits. Doesn't have to be kind of anything fancy, just we're just changing the colour of this now. And eventually we'll blend it all together as well. See, I'm using the side of the pencil really, more or less. Just like this really. That's what I've done with it, all these bits. And then when I did this, I saw that it wasn't, the colour wasn't strong enough. Because really what we've done there is we've worked out our colours, but they're only just a guide. So uh, then um, I put the orange on. So cream, then orange. See how it's changing the colours to more of a, a, more of a, yes, it's bright, but that's what I want. But it's a kind of more acceptable pinky orange colour. Now you can see it's just very, just a tiny bit of pastel. And yes, the paper's all showing through, but it doesn't matter. It'll look okay, it'll look all right. There, so that's all the orange over. And then, uh, because I didn't feel in parts it was strong enough, I just kind of went over it here and there, just where I think, yes, it, it should be a bit stronger. Right down, down there, that's, that's quite strong there. Yeah, those tips, just a bit. Again, just put them in again. Just streaks, just streaks of colour really. And here I did, I'll, I'll finish this bit off here for you. See, that is quite pale there, but you can easily just put streaks of pink, pinky or red in it again. And these are going to be kind of streaks of cream in there. So yeah, I just did that really. Just the, the hairs going. If you look carefully at your picture, you'll see the hairs are going up like that. So I just put them across like that. And by putting this on, you're actually blending colours together. And if you've got any white specks like that, yeah, you can just fill them in. If you don't like them, just fill them in. I put the darkest red over the black because we can go over that with black. It's very, very black there. So just that really, that, that's it. So then I noticed that this up here needed a bit more red. And at the moment, yes, it does look really red and pink. But when we get the other colours on, you'll see it'll all, all work, it'll all look okay. Okay, so now I want to work on this bit here, there. So I just want to get those kind of darker lines in. So we've got our dark patch there. That's definitely there. That's there. We can leave that. It's a bit stronger there, but we can soften that out. And then, as you can see from here, the line is going from the middle of his this light line here, we're going to go on the t imagine going on the top of that light line there, because that we're going to put that in after. We're going to put that in after, and you can see it goes just under that dark area there, there. So it's going just across like that, and it kind of stops. That line just just stops there, and then the next line we've got quite a strong dark line there. Uh, so we'll, we'll put that in, but we'll go over that in black. And then there's another strong dark line here, which is there. See, we, we put that in before. I'm just going to darken that a bit, so we don't lose that. It's a bit blonde actually, this black now. We'll just darken that a bit over there, like that. See how blonde that is? 
but I was able to do a very fine line there because it's very gentle. I just went over it very gently. And the more gentle you are, um, the more detail you can get in really, which it sounds a bit mad, but it's there we are, it's true. I'll probably sharpen that up in a minute. Um, we'll see how we get on. And then yes, this is coming up here, like that. So we'll do it in the darker colours. We've got that there, that's coming right into that line there. And we've got another lovely line that comes up there. I better cover this over, I think. Got green all over my hands again. Then we've got another lighter line coming at the side of this, this patch here. See it's coming down just before this line. See that? We're just getting these main lines in of the, the lighter, these lighter bits, we're just picking them out. So we're going around them. That's all we're doing, it's nothing fancy. We're just going around those lines. That's the dark line there that goes around the other side of it. And it kind of goes into a point there. So you can make it into a little point just to give you a guide. And then, so we're, we're really using all of that tracing we've done, which is why if you do it carefully, it'll really work for you. It'll really make things easy for you. Now we've got some other lines that are coming up here, coming up that way. This bit here, it's quite dark in there. I know it's got some lighter bits there, but just take an oversight of it. Just kind of stand back, look at the shapes. Just look, we're just picking out shapes. That's dark in there. So we've got a light bit there, and then we've got another bit that comes from there over like that. That's it. Like that. That's light. This is darker in here. just kind of mapped out there, that little bit there. And I think before we go any further, while it's fresh in our memory, we'll finish off this bit with a colour. Because once we go away from this, it's easy then to forget those lines you've just picked out quite carefully. There, that's the dark patch in there. That's it. And so this is coming up here. That's that dark patch there. Yeah. Okay. So because that's the dark patch there, we're going to go over that with black right now. So we don't lose it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's less curve and that is more like that. Okay, now this paper is really good because you can see it doesn't smudge around until you put another pencil on it. it. It doesn't really change even if you do it with your finger, it doesn't smudge all over the rest of the paper. So it makes it very good for this kind of technique um, to, you know. So over with the cream very gently see and although it's lightening it it's changing the color so it's taking off a bit of the depth but it's it's kind of there it's still there because we're going to need it there's a bit of darkness in there just this bit here see 
just this bit here. So I'm going to put that in now. Okay, then with the orange. So red, green, then orange for these bits. Over that. quite dark enough which it may not once we get the the creamy colors in which we won't do yet we're just going to concentrate on getting these dark bits in like we did with the black We've got the black in first now we're going with the darkest reds um, this is what I'm doing with this picture anyway I, I, I don't think I do this with every picture it just depends what you're doing and how you want to approach it like I said to you before there, I do use different techniques for different things. Just seeing this curl, this line here now. And the orange. Okay, so it looks a bit of a web, but all those light bits now, they're all picked out, ready to put on the next colour when we're ready. Okay, and that's kind of this colour here, this colour here is here, it's along here, down there. I made a bit of a start there, a little bit of a base but not much. And there, it's there. So all those lighter bits, the very lightest bits, we'll leave those to the end. That'll be the last colour going on and they'll come up beautifully. So it's all the lighter bits. That's kind of where they're going to be. Then the very lightest bits are here, obviously. What I would like to do next though, as you can see, um, see all these little Right, that's that's that bit there. That's that bit there. And there's a line coming right from the top of his nose over. So don't slavishly cut cut look for all the lines that you've already got on there because they may not be exactly right. Just keep looking at what you're doing. There are the lines going that way. So just keep looking at what you're doing. It's going up to the black there, so right up. That black goes across there. So I would like to put that in. Anytime you come to a bit, you think, oh, I better put that in, put it in. Because if you go away from it, you might forget. I'm looking at these shapes now, that's straight. Then that could go around there, come around there. 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 These are a bit finer actually, these lines on his face than what, than what I've done already there. So I'm just going to go light on that. Very light. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, it's a bit lower. Just to give me an outline. That's grey there. But they're going to be grey lines so we could put some black in there. But there's a lot of white, there's bits of white in there. And then we've got the light patch there that comes under the eye there. That's come, going to come across here. Those are light hairs which we won't put on yet. And this is exactly right. That's exactly right. And then we've got the the darkness here. Yeah. We've got a grey in there. So we'll cover that over lightly with black. We could put some white in there or grey. I have lots to choose from now. I've got my new colours as well. I'm a bit of a pencil addict actually. But these, 
You know, they're giving the intensity of a Caran d'Ache colour. Softness of a Caran d'Ache. They probably don't do such a big range of colours, but the Caran d'Ache are a lot more expensive. Like I said, they're double the price. Okay, so we'll carry that dark through there. Lines, just smudge them a little bit over. Still, it's really blunt. Got a bit of a point on the end there, but I'm not really using that. I'm using the sides of the blunt areas. Some dark in here. Put those in. That's that little. Like a, mm, mm, almost like a little bit of a. Triangle shape, that's what it was, wasn't it? Triangle. So that's a nice dark line in there. Then this is dark. Dark. Bit of grey in there, probably. Just put that in. Let's make it dark. Okay. Pinkness in there actually. I'll put that in just here. Green. these bits here now. So I've got that there. That's coming up. Just need to get the angle right back. That's a bit more browny, but we'll make that, we can do that later. Just make sure we've got all the dark areas in. That's that. Carry on across there. get a bit lost just put them back because they are mark they're good markers and of course I won't have put in all these little marks when I traced it on they won't all be on here just the main lines I put in the main lines see what else we've got here. So we've got that bit there, that's that bit there. I'm going to make that darker so it really helps with that stand out. That's 
the light bit we're going to leave. That's that. And we've got the dark bit here. Kind of goes across like that as well. quite dark I'm going to go over them with the other red like we did in the first colour that's the black with this pinky red 325 over it just it keeps it dark that's what we want to do at the moment we want to keep these things quite dark we'll put some, I think we're going to put a bit of more black in this over the top of this let's see see how it goes Brownie looking, isn't it? But for now, we'll just keep it dark. You can, you know, we've got hundreds of other colours we can use. But for now, we're just going to try and keep these black bits very dark. So I've got to open them with the red. Dark red. Like a cherry red, really. This bit here. Now you can see they are they are dark. There's there's not much red in there. We've got the darker reds done here, darker reds done here. And yeah, we want some want some black in here. You see now we need that black back in there. Just here. That. Let's put this down. We need some nice sharp bits of black in there. Lovely. Lovely. That's a nice sharp line coming up there. And we've got the we've got one black there for a start. Couldn't get the angle right about that. That's coming across there like that. It's a little bit the other side of that than we've already got there, and then it's kind of coming up and around. That's it, and then we'll we've got that light bit there. Now, this is where we can start going over the background a bit. Hopefully it'll improve the background a bit. Yeah, I need to do some more work on that really. That's blue up there, so I'll put blue in there. Just the same sort of thing here now. So wherever I can see a line that we need to pick out, we're going to do that. Make it nice and easy for us. That's that line coming across there. Kind of got that in there, really. That's that. And then we've got that there. Then we've got a nice thin streak in there. And if we keep that clear, you see, when we put the colour on, it's going to look really good. Yeah, that's the wrong colour we're using there. We want the orangey red on here. Just go over it. That'd be alright. That'd be fine. You don't need to panic about anything like that. Just show it who's in charge. That's all you need to do, to show who's in charge. It's a nice 
nice little night bits there. I can't wait to do the night bits. That's going to be a lot of fun, that. shapes of these, they're, they're kind of long diamonds. That's what you need to do, just look at the shapes. These are just lines really, a lot of these. Look at how that cream has tamed that pinky red down. Look, see, this way you don't need to worry about stuff. You think like a blender. And we'll put the orange back in. It's rather nice. So we'll put those in after, those little hairs there, under his nose. We'll do that after. I've kind of done a bit of that kind of thing, but we'll do that after. Because we've got to get the shape of his nose right, and we're going to need to pay special attention to that, to get that exactly right, that shape. Noses are quite tricky sometimes. We'll just start. It's the nature of noses. Right now we've got some pinky bits up here that we haven't got in yet. The black, we've got some nice black bits in there. And then we've got, yes, pinky streak in there. that 
And this little line coming down here, these hairs are going this direction. That way. And we've got a nice little curly bit coming up there. That would be light. That would be light. These coming down to meet that. We're going to do this bit here now, get that red, that ready colour under his eye. So I'm just going around with the black, I'm going to bring that in because it's quite dark and husky looking. Dusky looking, rather. Over the black. Just see it's a little bit pinky there and the line's going that way. There, it's going down. Okay. Now we want to keep that fairly dark, but we'll just put some orange straight on it, I think. See what that does. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's alright. Good. Smudgy, a bit smudgy around his eye. Can do that around eyes. And then we'll put some more black on. Get the bring those little hairs back in. A bit more smudginess. Looks like he's got his eye makeup on. black lines over red colour. That's quite near, I think. It's quite near. And we've got our black, grey things going through there. So we don't want to go too mad with those because they, they need some grey, need some light, very light grey in, I think, there. Now, we can see that there's another line coming in here underneath there. It's very light so I'm going to just line it, outline it. And then these have got some black lines in here, see? That's that line going there. That's going behind almost, isn't it really? And some nice black streaks in there. So just get him wrapped. Just get him wrapped out really. So yeah, that goes up there. And actually this this line is coming out quite a bit here. Can leave that out there for a bit. We'll tidy up all the edges a bit later. I just want to get this little line coming in here. Okay, I'm just going to 